Hello and welcome. In today's video I'm going to explain you how to search the most common name mentioned in a dataset by using Excel mode function and pivot table. The Excel mode function returns the most frequently occurring number in a numeric data set. For example, if I want to find the most occurring number from this dataset, I can simply use Excel mode function. So, equal mode function, then select entire data range. Then close the bracket. It returned me 46. It is the frequent occurring number from this dataset. As you can see, the mode function returns only a number value. Hence this function can only be used to search the numbers. Then how we can search a most occurring name by using this function. Let's see how we can search a name from this example. This data table is provided the company employee database. What I need here to search, which department is recruited the highest number of employees in the organization. Here, I can't use the mode function directly. In order to use the mode function, I have to convert the department names to a number format. So, I will use Excel match function to return me the location, where it will be returned the first occurrences of the department names. So, match, lookup value will be C, colon, C. Then for the lookup array argument also I will use the same range. C, colon, C, with exact match. Now copy down the formula. Now the formula is returned the location of the first occurrence for each department name. C, the quality assurance department name. The first occurrence appeared in row number 2. And it has repeated in the next row, and continued till complete entire dataset. Okay. Now we have converted the department names to a number format, so we can use the Excel mode function. Hence mode, leave the match function as the number range. Then close the bracket. Now the formula has returned me the error value. This is because of the counting blank cells. So I will use if function to omit the blank cells. So, before we use mode function let us use if function. Hence if. The logical argument will be C colon C not equal to blank. Then leave the match function as true value. Leave the false argument as default. And close the bracket. Ok. Now the formula has returned me the number value 8. It means the department name at the location 8 recruited highest number of employees. To return the name instead the location number. Use the index function. So, index array argument will be C, colon, C then leave the mode formula as row num argument. Then close the brackets. Now the formula has returned the department name. So, the manufacturing department has recruited highest number of employees. Ok, next let us use the pivot table method. Click on any cell in the data table. Then go to insert tab. And choose pivot table option from the drop down. Next, choose the option to create the pivot table on the existing sheet. And select any cell as the pivot table location. From the pivot table pane, drag and drop the department field to the rows area. Again, drag and drop the department field on the value area. Now the pivot table is created. Next, right click on the count of department column. Expand the sort option. And click largest to smallest. From the table, the manufacturing department name is brought on the top. Which has recruited 151 number of employees. So in both methods we got the same department name. So I hope this lesson was useful for you. I will see you in the next video. Thank you for watching. If you have any comments on this lesson, please mention in the comments section. And make sure to like the video, and consider subscribing to my YouTube channel for more future videos. Have a nice day.